one of those days when I fish twice it's a hard life isn't it sometimes and naturally at this time of the year it's an early morning session and a, a late one and I'm on the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal just for an hour up to dark remember it's better to fish one hour at the right time of the day than it is to fish four or five when perhaps it won't be as productive and one of the things that you have to battle against at this time of the year especially the school holidays is the boat traffic now you can moan about the boats or you can do what I do and come at the end of the day or of course at the start once we hit September the boat traffic will start to decrease and it'll be much easier to fish during the day but for now work around the boats rather than expect them to fit in with your schedule plus mornings and evenings that's the way to go anyway during the summer months I've just cast out and I've had a little bit of a, a dip there on the float so that's encouraging and I'll be back shortly with a fish Apart from my two overnighters that I've done recently, I can't remember the last time I had a blank and I'm certainly not a blanker this evening either. When that float dips, you strike, you don't know whether it's going to be a four pounder or a four ouncer. <laughs> I'm fishing with a Shimano reel. It's a Gray's Prodigy float rod. 12 feet. I've got four pound Maxima Chameleon and that goes right the way through. I've got a small float shot either side and then nothing at all until I come to the hook itself. That's a size 14 Drennan Super Specialist, two maggots and a small anchor shot there just to combat any flow that the canal might have. I don't mind catching small perch. But naturally, given the choice, I would like to get something bigger. It's a very late one, but there's a boat coming through. I've got about half an hour to go actually, so it may settle down there for the night or it may pass through. But either way, I'll continue to fish anyway. <laughs> 